Hi, and welcome to the Miami-Dade Chamber of Commerce Member Connection. I'm your host, Eric Knowles. But before we get started, a word from one of our supporters. At Convey, we're not only dedicated to solving today's biggest challenges facing healthcare organizations, we're also committed to predicting and planning for tomorrow's challenges by uniting a family of companies. We combine powerful technology with robust data analytics to deliver integrated end-to-end -end solutions that achieve meaningful results. Start your journey towards transformative business performance with Convey. Hi, and welcome back to the Miami-Dade Chamber of Commerce Member Connection. I am your host, Eric Knowles. And as always, I am excited, excited about building black businesses, excited, excited about helping our businesses grow in our community. And today I have Mr. Chevis Davis. How are you, my brother? Doing very well, doing very well. So great to have you. Love your name. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. You know, we were talking about that earlier before we got on, but um, Chevis Davis, where are you from? Born and raised in the county of Dade. Okay, 305. <laughs> 305, yeah, born and raised. Yeah, 305, Magic City. Yes, sir. So we're here talking about your business. Um, First of all, tell us a little bit about, about yourself before we get into the business side of it. Okay, so again, born and raised in Miami, Florida. Uh, grew up as a, a young artist and okay. uh, discovered my gift when I was about six years old. And um, my teacher, I actually went to Norwood Elementary. She discovered I had a gift and sent me to a magnet art school where I was able to hone my gift, my skills, and then uh, Rainbow Park Elementary, and then moved on, matriculated to Norland Middle, Norland Senior High. I stayed in the Miami Gardens area, and then uh, actually came here to Miami Day College. Okay. And I, they had an art scholarship at the time that was called the Visual Honors Art Conservatory. Okay, and was able had an excellent professor here. Uh, it was a scholarship, so had two years for free. I was like, can't beat that. <laughs> no, you can't beat that, man. That's, and, a, that's a gift. Yeah. So we got two years for free and um, actually did two murals here at this particular campus. Okay. The one right here by the library. And then there's another one in the arts um, building. That's pretty deep. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. was, I was blessed. Those were my first two murals I ever did in my okay. life. And um, from there, matriculated to Savannah College of Art and Design. Okay. That's is, a pretty prestigious school. Yeah. It's a very good school. Uh, SCAD, as some people call yeah, it. Exactly. Uh, in Savannah, they have one in Atlanta now. And um, got my degree there in computer art and animation. Okay. And so from there, moved back to Miami, realized that I had an entrepreneurial spirit, started making t shirts, started doing little art pieces and things of that nature. And um, after that, became an art teacher. Uh, Dade County Public Schools. Okay. And uh, I told myself I was going to do 10 years as a teacher. Okay. And uh, the money I will make, I would invest in myself and my business. And so once I hit that mark, I slid out of there and um, became a full-time entrepreneur. Okay. No, that's um, that's quite a story. I, I thought you were going to tell me, you know, I, I wanted to do 10 and now it's been 30 years oh, later. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I knew when that time was up and I read a book that said, uh, if you can be able to match your salary from your part-time business to your full-time job, it's time for you to go. Right. And so I was able to do that. And in between time, we got married, have a wife, uh, four sons. Okay. Um, very supportive family. My mom and dad always supported me in the arts everything that I do, they still support me now and right. um, been blessed to be able to continue doing what I love to do. Now, talk, you know, art in Miami, you talk about murals. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is just amazing, you know, Wynwood, right. Midtown, what's happening in along Northwest Second Avenue. Yeah. Um, I, I grew up off of Second uh, Avenue myself and 53rd, but and then you go through Little Haiti mm -hmm. and you see all the art, the murals that's happening. And I mean, people go to Winwood just to look at yeah. the art. Yeah. Um, it's it's interesting. Actually, my former office was downtown um, in a building that's getting ready. You may have seen this. It's getting ready to be demolished mm. uh, to to build us. Uh, skyscraper right tallest building south of new york or whatever wow but right now because the building is old they're taking it they have to go inside and and do a lot of the demolition because of asbestos and mm. what have you but my point in making that is the art that has what we call graffiti mm -hmm. has been 
plastered all over this building. Wow. And if you haven't seen it, you need to go down and okay. check it out. Yeah, I'll it's check it out. Um, at the end of Biscayne Boulevard, mm -hmm. um, where it starts to turn mm -hmm. southwest first, between southwest first and second. Gotcha. And the question, and you may know this, the question, and I'm just totally in another area. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, they must have had scaffolds to drop down the side of this building. Because, I mean, it's painted on all four sides. Wow. And one side is just a wall. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's beautiful. Wow. The work that they did. Yeah. And literally, I think it's like 17 floors, 18 floors. Wow. And every floor it's has painted. been painted. I actually have a picture. I'll show it to you. Yeah, yeah, that'd when be we great. Finish. But what has happened has really turned and changed the whole concept. And I know there are other communities, San Francisco, and other communities before even we. And I've been to Philly and seen the art, mm -hmm. the murals there. Um, have you done any more murals uh, outside of the ones that? Yeah, that, was... like you said, these were the first ones. Yeah, you these did. were the first two. Absolutely, I have. Um murals in various schools okay um i just finished a mural at norwood the school i just mentioned my okay. elementary school in january with the jack and jill foundation and we had i do community murals where you bring family friends kids and we yeah, do, and everybody gets everybody to yeah add I, into it. i draw it out and then i label it and then we all paint it together and so we did one at norland middle and uh norland uh, norwood elementary at um on in january okay and, it's a phenomenal mural level, like a tiger, because that's their mascot. So that's one. I have about seven murals at Brooklyn T. Washington when I was a teacher there. Okay. We did community murals with the students. And when I was a teacher, I always had a method of operation of teaching kids the concept of art and how to apply it to real life. Sometimes people think drawing and painting is just for fun, but I wanted them to make the application that they can build a career from it. And so in my classes, I taught them how to do fashion design, graphic design, okay. cake design. And so murals is another process or another business that you can have as an artist where you can make money. And so uh, I took them out of the classroom into the hallways and we, we did about seven murals. At the That's school. real life. Real life. Because it's one thing, like you said, you could be in the classroom and you're going through the processes. Right. But then the real life exactly. of actually creating and putting it to where the world can see. Exactly. I, you know, I think, well, we all to a certain degree have that artist in us. Of course. Um, but there are those of you who were born with, you know, it, it's crazy. You see on Instagram, social media, mm -hmm. I just saw the other day, this person drawing with their feet yeah. and their hands yeah. and drawing four different it's... pieces of art at the same time. Yeah. And I mean, just literally it looks lifelike. Yeah. I mean, you know, some of us just have that DNA in yeah. us. That's what we are. Some of us are doctors. Some of us yep. are presidents of chambers. And yep. some of us are artists. That's it. That's and it. the artists, you as an artist, obviously, you you make the world better. Yeah, I, I hope so. No, you do, because yeah. you bring beauty to the world. Mm -hmm. And But I, I really want to, we're going to be taking a break in a minute. So I'm not going to go where I was going to go. But yeah, artists, you, I mean, you influence how people feel. Yeah. You know, you could you could be feeling bad and you see a beautiful piece of art and it's like it just transform your whole thought process, mm. you know, to your whole demeanor for at that moment, at least for me. That's true. That's you know, true. and like I said, even when I go down and see that building, it's like, oh, my God, I'm like, I'm, it, it, I'm the fact that I was in the building and it is graffiti. Yeah. But it's art. Yeah. It's still art. Yeah. And it just like I said, it touches me in a special way. And so we're gonna um, we're gonna take a break, and we'll be back, and we'll be getting into this with Chavis about you know what inspired him to begin to, to become this artist, and I, I could see him becoming a, he's probably already a pro prolific artist, <laughs> but uh, one that will become renowned because it comes from here. Yeah. A lot of artists aren't recognized until after, but he's going to be one that the world will know about. See you in a minute. Learn and earn today at Miami-Dade College. College graduates earn 56% more than high school graduates and a million more lifetime earnings. A degree from MDC is your path to greater earning power and career success. Choose from hundreds of affordable high-tech and in-demand career programs, including 
cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, business, and nursing. Learn and earn today at MDC and fast track your career. Enroll now at mdc.edu slash purpose. And welcome back to the Miami Dade Chamber of Commerce member connection. I am your host, Eric Knowles, and we're here with Chavis Davis, a very extraordinary young man who has taken his talent from this, you know, one thing I, I keep telling artists, you know, to, to, just having that innate ability to, mm -hmm. to, to take a, a, something from your mind right. and then either put it on paper, put it on canvas or sculpture, right. or even artists who play music. Yeah. So, you know, that whole art. What inspired you? What got you started? Well, uh, I tell this story a lot. I was in a summer camp at uh, Norwood Park mm -hmm. and I seen this ninja on the wall and I was like, man, that's amazing. It was a drawing that someone had done and just they posted it up. And I said, man, I wonder if I can draw that ninja. And so I start to draw the ninja and uh, the kids start to come in. I was only I was in there by myself. I didn't want to be outside. It was hot. So I'm just drawing by myself and the kids start coming in and they say, oh, wow, Chevis, I didn't know you can draw. And I was like, I didn't know either. <laughs> and so they was like, can you draw me one? And I was like, for a quarter. And so <laughs> so from there, for, I think, for a quarter, for a quarter. So I, I ended up making like two dollars and 50 cents. That How day. old were you then? I had to be between six and seven. OK. And so I guess that's where my entrepreneurship started, okay. because I sold about two to two. 50 worth. 2057 yeah. six years old. That's pretty good. Able to buy some donuts and some chips. <laughs> <laughs> so I sold it from the little shop. And I was like, man, and that was the year when I got back, I really kind of delved into it and started, okay. you know, building uh, who I was as an artist. And um, that that one picture inspired me. And I still draw ninjas today. Do you still have that picture? I don't. I don't. Oh, it's hard to keep up with yeah, artwork. Yeah. And um, I was telling a story the other day that I had a portfolio from high school to college that got lost. Oh, no. And uh, all that artwork is oh wow. it's just gone. I don't know where it is. I don't know. Somebody might it. have it. Yeah, hopefully. They're waiting for you to waiting blow for, up. Yeah, waiting. <laughs> they're going to they gonna make it big, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to make it big. Wow. Um, and, and speaking of that, you know, at, at listening to you, you had the right mindset. Like you said, you, you teach, taught for 10 years, so mm -hmm. you weren't the starving artist. Right, I wasn't. You know, and there, there's a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Artists that, you know, they basically, you know, I'm gonna just, whatever it takes, yeah. I'm gonna just right. grind on my art. Um, but having, like you said, that entrepreneurial spirit, mm -hmm. understanding at six years old, hey, you want this, it's gonna cost you. It's gonna you. cost it, yeah. Um, who was your inspiration when it comes, who is your inspiration when it comes to, to artists or do you have an, yeah. like you might be your own inspiration yeah, because yeah. again, when, when, it, what you said here at six years old, you just picked up and you started drawing. Right. So you inspired yourself to a certain degree. Right. Talk about that a little bit. Absolutely. And I think artists inspire each other. Mm -hmm. So I was self-inspired from that moment, but going forward, the other artists around me. So I was able to be blessed to have a community of artists. And in elementary school, once I went to Rainbow Park, it was other artists around me that I can see their artwork and how good they were. And I'm very competitive. So I'm, I'm a competitive artist and I have a lot of things that a lot of artists may not have in me. So the entrepreneurship is, is rare that you find the artists that's both. And the competitiveness, some artists say I'm good just on my own, but I have both of those things. Mm -hmm. And so seeing the other artists around me, uh, I, I got to be able to paint this better than him or draw that better than her. And so I respected them as artists, but I right, wanted to absolutely. level up. I wanted right. to level up through the process. And so I was inspired by a number of those people that was around me. And then middle school, it got even tougher because it was a lot of great artists from all around Miami right. uh, in middle school. And I was watching their work, phenomenal work. And I was like, wow, OK, I got to step my game up. I got to go home and draw and shade and paint. And um I started in middle school, you start to learn about art history mm -hmm. and art history lets you know the history of art and how artists got to that point. And as you say, we learn about the starving artists and how they went through what they went through to, to be able to get to where they wanted to go. And so for me, um, Salvador Dali was, has been my favorite artist because he broke the realms of 
traditional painting. Right. It was just people yeah. sitting there. Yeah. And, and he, he got a little. Yeah, he's got everything going on. <laughs> he's got this surrealistic fantasy, dreamlike right. things happening. Right. And so I like to be out of the box. So I kind of drew to, and not only did it was out of the box, but it looked phenomenal. Right. And his style and his skill was very, you know, impactful on me. I wish we had some of your work we could show folks, but we're going to actually tell them. So tell them about your business. Okay. Right? Okay. That side of it. So we know how to get in touch with you and get connected with you. Absolutely. So my company is called, I have a couple companies and uh, the main one is called Paint with Faith. Okay. And Paint with Faith is, well, I'll tell you how I got there. And it was actually born out of adversity. I used to do video and photography for about 10 years. And this particular night, I went to my trunk to get all my equipment out and the equipment was gone. Okay. So about $6,000 worth of equipment was gone and uh, in just one shot. And so uh, I talked to God. I said, how am I going to be an entrepreneur without any tools? And he said to me, can you draw? Or can you paint? Are you an artist? I said, yes. He said, can you motivate? activate people i said yes he says are you a teacher i said yes he said so do what i gave you to do and so paint with faith was born out of that wow. he, he showed me that i didn't need the tools i just needed what was inside yeah. of me and so i went i was going to buy the painting with a twist franchise but i didn't feel like it was a good fit for me because i mm. couldn't mold it to be mine you. yeah and so paint with faith was born and i turned the model around instead of people coming to me i have a mobile company where i go to and i do the same type of sip and paint classes and then we also inspire young people so we believe that if you can do a canvas or a painting with us you can achieve any goal dream or desire with motivation guidance and faith we provide the motivation the guidance but the faith is on you so we want people to exercise their faith with the canvas and so just like in our motto is your life is a canvas painted with faith so if you can paint your life to what you want it to be you can achieve whatever you want and so that's what we do. And we work with young people. We say we work from the ages five to 105. So we work with seniors, kids, parties in between. And we just go from there. It was actually, I'm glad you went there because, you know, in a lot of us older folks, we had that desire. Yes. And, but, you know, we probably paint like, you know, uh, <laughs> we ain't going to get paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we want to, to take that inter- desire right. for the next level. Right. Talk about that a little bit. We so, only have a little bit of time, but yes. let's talk, let's get it in. Absolutely. So we offer a painting experience. Mm -hmm. So as you say, a lot of people uh, want to be able to be an artist or want to have that experience. And so we offer it to them. And so we go to a lot of senior citizens communities, senior citizens commu uh, places, and we teach them how to paint. And like I said, 105 was our oldest client who had never painted. She was from Jamaica, never painted before in her life. And was able to paint and it it pains me to people to see people go their whole life without yeah. even doing a right. painting yeah and uh even my dad when i started the company that was his first time painting when i started the company i painted with him and so we give a, a good experience and we want to impact more people with what we do well you know obviously we do our member uh connections we do our member meetups and we're going to have paint with faith yes. um, in the next uh, couple of months there is another uh, new member, and I can't remember to call their name, but they have a, a, a space over on 36th Street right mm -hmm. off of Miami Avenue, and it's perfect for what you have. Beautiful. And we're going to put that to Paris. I know you're listening to me, so <laughs> we got to work on that. And I wish you could tell me the name of the company that that's joined that's on 36th Street and <laughs> off of Miami Avenue, but we'll get that. Um, how can someone get in touch with you? It's easy to find us through social media, through Facebook, through all those, just paint with faith, not painting, paint with faith. And you'll find that. Uh, I did say painting, didn't I? No, no, you, oh, you was okay. like, you was like okay. paint with faith. And I, some people just put the ING on there, okay. but it's paintwithfaith.com. You can check out our website. You can book a class right on there. You don't have to call me. You can just book and it'll go right to our, our schedule and we'll show up right and be on time. Okay, great. So if you want to learn more about paint with faith, tell them again, paintwithfaith.com. Paint. That's easy enough. <laughs> Paintwithfaith.com. If you want to know more about the Miami Dade Chamber or what, what's coming up, you can call us at 305 751 8648. Or you can go to our website, www.m dcc.org. This has been the Miami Dade Chamber Member Connection. Tune in next week when we'll have a new guest and you'll learn more information as we help to build Black business. Anything, last closing word? 
Uh, well, I have multiple companies. I just want to give a shout out to other company, the whole Armor Comic Book, Christian Comic Book Series, uh, and you know support that. We've won two awards so far, and okay. just check us out with that as well. All right, thank you very much. No problem. This has been great. He just wants us to continue to talk a little bit, like we did, and then go. Okay. Well, we're not real <laughs> saying that. Today, I stand before you, a proud graduate of Miami Dade College and the fifth president of the Miami Dade Chamber of Commerce. I'm honored to return to the college that prepared me to become a leader in our community, providing an education second to none. So I'm asking you to please tune in every Monday at 12 noon to the Miami Dade Chamber of Commerce's Member Connection as I interview members of the Miami Dade Chamber of Commerce on our Facebook page at Miami Dade Chamber of Commerce or our YouTube channel, Miami Dade Chamber of Commerce. To learn more about the Chamber, please go to m-dcc.org or call the Chamber at 305-751-8648.